Hey everyone, Alexa from Homelight here. In this video, I'll give you tips that supplement your real estate agent's advice on how to stage your single family home. Staging your home is when you furnish and design the space for prospective buyers. Why should you stage your house? According to the National Association of Realtors, 81% of buyers find it easier to imagine themselves living in a staged home as opposed to an empty house. Basically, the odds of selling your home are better if you stage it. In this video, we'll cover the pre-staging prep you need to do, how to create focal points with furniture, how to add pops of color without overwhelming the buyer, how to add small, homey details, and how to deodorize for showings. Let's briefly cover pre-staging prep. First things first, you need to declutter everything. Put items away into their proper storage places and clear all surfaces. We won't go into detail in this video, so you can find more information on the Homelight blog and our decluttering guide. The link's in the post down below. Then you'll deep clean your house. To find out more info on deep cleaning, check out our cleaning guide on the Homelight blog. We've put the link at the bottom of this video also. There's no faster way to make your house feel like a brand new home than with a fresh coat of paint. Stick to neutrals like shades of beige and call in the professionals for this one. Check out our blog post on what color to paint your house, link below. Now you're ready to stage your single family home. Expert New Jersey home stager Karen Parciale advises that you use furniture to create focal points in your home. She told us they don't create focal points in each room and they don't okay. relay the emotional benefits of the house. So what I try and do is create like little lifestyle vignettes. This defines the way buyers can use the space without making them guess. For example, center the living room furniture around the fireplace or use a bench in that odd entryway corridor to anchor the space as a mudroom. Or make the bed the center focal point of the guest room. IKEA or World Market are great websites to find extra furniture pieces you need. Make sure that every room has a purpose, even if the buyer decides to use it for something different. Fresh cut flowers add color and elegance to a space. Don't overdo it. A good rule of thumb is one bouquet per room. Keep arrangements to one or two colors as to not create too much busyness. Roses are always a good choice. Throw pillows also create pops of color without overwhelming house hunters. Look at CrateAndBarrel.com for some affordable throw pillow options. A book on the coffee table, a bowl of lemons in the living room, or a candle in the bathroom is enough to suggest the feeling of home for prospective buyers. No one wants to walk into a stinky house. Use candles, reed diffusers, or a DIY lemon and rosemary stovetop pot to deodorize your house before showings. Take all trash outside and put the bins in the basement. You can order candles or reed diffusers online at Nordstrom.com. So, to summarize your home staging checklist, y'all, do pre-stage prep, create a functional living space with furniture in each room, add pops of color throughout, pay attention and add homey details, and deodorize the space. Your real estate agent knows top home stagers in your area. If you want to get your single family home professionally staged, check in with your agent. Your agent will also have tips for staging specific to your property and they'll most likely create a specialized staging plan just for you. If you don't already have a real estate agent, you can find a great one on homelight.com. While you're there, you should check out our other guides and resources for selling your home. Happy single family home staging!